This is version two of my earth inductor compass. And the reason it's version two is because there was a version one and it had a design flaw, which made it uh, unreliable to say the least. So I've got a video on that. I will not go into detail. However, I will uh, put the current one, the current design out there on Thingiverse. So if you want to 3D print this, uh, of course, you could build it in wood, you know, anything that uh, will hold the components. So let's go over those components right now. There's a small DC motor right here, and it is connected through a brass shaft right here. And the reason I use brass is because it does not propagate a magnetic field. One of the problems last time is this shaft was literally touching this shaft. And of course, the magnetic field would just propagate all through there. So uh, that goes to here, there is the bearing. And this bearing is just the end of the electric motor that this uh, rotor came out of. And yeah, so I've got the bearing here. I got a rotor from a DC motor. And then of course there are the contacts here and then the connection points here. So why do they have such a device? Well, that is because if you have a regular compass like this and you travel up north, you know, as you get up towards Greenland or northern Alaska, whatever, the compass will no longer show the correct north-south direction. In fact, what happens is it starts tipping off like this because the actual magnetic north is just north of Greenland. It's not at the North Pole where Santa lives. And the other thing that will happen is this needle will actually tip downward and drag and, and you just get erroneous readings. So you need a way to have a compass that is immune to those effects. And somebody noticed that, well, the earth has a magnetic field. And if I spin a coil of wire inside of a magnetic field, then what happens is I generate electricity and I can measure the electricity that's generated from this rotor. And as the, as the uh, direction changes, so as I align more and less with the north-south magnetic lines of the Earth, the voltage will increase and decrease. And in fact, in theory, they should go from uh, negative in one direction all the way to positive in the other. And then when you reach the others, east and west, it should null out. Uh, the voltage should go to zero. So we're going to try that experiment. Uh, this again is version two, and we'll see if this uh, works better than uh, the last time. Okay, let's go do that. Well, this is our setup. This is the power supply that's going to drive our motor. And that's going to go through this brass shaft. And it's going to turn our rotor. And from there, uh, the rotor acting with the uh, Earth's magnetic field is going to generate a, a microamp current. And we've got our meter over here set to microamps. And I guess all there is now to do is to make it happen. So I'll crank the voltage up to about eight, which is where I've been testing it at. Eight volts. There we go. Get that up out of the way. And so let's kind of home it in on north. Get my hand out of the way so you can see the meter. And as we look here, we got minus, what are we going to call that, 30, 31, something like that. So behind us is south. Uh, that way is east, and that way is west, and then back towards the camera. That is north. However, the house is not built squarely north-south, so it's actually tipped that way. So that would be south. Okay, let's uh, rotate this around. i got to get my hand out of the way. And as we rotate it, as we get towards east, it should null out. And yeah, basically it goes to zero. Okay, let's keep rotating it on around. Yeah, it's approaching south. Make sure I don't have my hands in the way of the meter. So... Yeah, that's south. We'll call it, what, 34, 35, 34, 9, 35, 34, 9, 34, 8, da-da-da-da-da. Okay, let's keep going on around. 
Get my wires out of the way. And as we approach the west, goes down to eh, roughly 0 0.7, 0 0.6. Okay. Keep going on around. Slowly, 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 so you can see the numbers changing nicely. 28, 29, 31. No, don't touch that. 30, 29, 27. So you'll notice this is minus. So when we're pointed to the north, it's minus. And then if we go back around towards the south, it changes positive. So yeah, that's it. This is uh, really rather fascinating. It works as well. Um, I am surprised, pleasantly surprised. My first version did not go very well, but this one is working exactly as I expect it to. Okay, well that was it. I hope you found this interesting in your navigational exercises or electrical experimentation, whatever you're doing.